Hi, and welcome to Section 7 of our video series where we will look at the best ways to prepare our application for deployment. In this section, we'll start by installing the necessary dependencies and updating our build script to produce a minified build of our application for production. We'll then take a look at the features of Lodash CLI, which is a tool available to create highly customizable builds of Lodash. We'll wrap up this section by reviewing our application and then look at the benefits of being able to develop our application using Lodash. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with building a minified application for production. We have already installed Browserify to piece together the modules of our front-end application, but we want to create a production build that has a minimal footprint for browsers to download. In this video you will learn about the tools available to minify your JavaScript code and how to integrate minification into the npm build script. We'll start by looking at the build tools that are available for minifying a JavaScript application. We'll then install Uglify.js, a popular library in the JavaScript build chain to use as our minification tool. After installing Uglify.js, we will add scripts in our package.json file to add minification to our build process. We'll discuss how to integrate these changes into version control and test out the updated build script. Before we begin adding our build tools, Let's make sure we're on the latest branch of our code base. From the command line, go to your recipes client repo and run git checkout video-7-1. This will get you the latest application code that is ready to build. The work in this video will only be in the recipes client repo since we're talking about minification of our code for delivery to the browser. There are a number of minification tools available to JavaScript developers. These include the Google Closure Compiler, which can even perform type and assignment checks on your code based on annotations, and the Yahoo UI compressor tool. For our application, we are going to use Uglify.js, a minification tool that has excellent performance and a Node API that integrates well with JavaScript task managers such as Grunt and Gulp. For more information on Uglify.js, visit the homepage at lisperator.net slash Uglify.js. Before we start using Uglify.js, we need to install it as a dev dependency using npm. Go back to the command line in your recipes client repo and run the command npm install dash dash save dash dev uglify.js. We are going to use the uglify.js command from our npm build script to create a new minified source, but we will also want to have our index.html file load that source. To do that, we'll use another tool called HTML processor. HTML processor will use comments in the markup to swap file references when a build is run. This way, we can keep both our app.js and our app.min.js files in version control and simply update which file is loaded during the build. After the installation of Uglify.js is complete, run npm install dash dash save dash dev HTML processor. Once this is complete, we are ready to write our new build scripts. Our build scripts are in the package.json file so let's open that in our code editor. npm actually allows you to have both pre and post hooks for a script, and we're going to leverage that here to tie all our processes together under the npm run build command. The order that we'll want to run scripts is, first, we'll run Browserify to bundle our modules, second, we'll run Uglify.js to minify the bundle, third, we'll run HTML processor to update our index.html file to load the minified JavaScript bundle. This order is perfect for a pre-build, build, and post-build script. To do this, start by renaming the build script to pre-build. The contents will remain the same, we just need this to run first. On the next line, create the build script, which we'll call the uglify.js command. The command is uglify.js assets slash js slash app.js dash c dash o assets slash js slash app dot min dot js. The dash C option instructs Uglify.js to compress the code, renaming variables to shorter versions, usually only a single letter. The dash O option defines the output file name, which is provided as the last argument. After adding the build script, on the next line add a post build script. This script will call HTML processor and pass index.html as the input file. The only option is dash O to specify an output file, which is the same name index.html. Once you have saved the package.json file, open the index.html file to add a comment for the build script. First, add an HTML comment above the script tag that contains the text build colon js assets slash js slash app.min.js. 
Then below the script tag add another HTML comment with the text slash build. This instructs the HTML processor script to replace the source attribute in the script tag between the comments with the attribute value defined in the opening comment. You can optionally provide an environment to the HTML processor command as well as environment specific comments. That is more advanced than we need though since we are only running the command for a production environment. Once you've saved the index.html file, go back to your command line and from the root of the recipes client repo run npm run build. You will see the browserify, uglify.js, and html processor commands execute. When this completes, run npm run start to start up the static file server. Load the following link in your browser and then open up the browser's development tools to the network tab. Reload the page and you'll notice a call to app.min.js instead of the app.js file generated by the npm run dev command. It is also less than half the size, an impressive improvement. Something else you might wonder is, how can we take those resources and commit them to version control without altering how development works? A strategy I use for this is to tag a build using git tag. A tag in git is typically used to mark a release point, and you can commit code to a release branch before creating a tag. Before you run a build, you can create the release branch on a clean repo with your latest code. Then run npm run build, commit the updated assets, and run git tag with your tag name, followed by git push origin dash dash tags to push the tag to the git server. Your users can then install the application using those tags and have the production ready files in place. In this video, we learned about adding minification to our application using uglify.js. We added a command to our npm build script to minify and compress our code using uglify.js. We also added a command to update our index.html file to point to the minified code. We finished up by testing out the npm run build command and talking about the best way to add the updated application files to your repository.